aren't letting you pass that easily. Do not underestimate us. We three Moiray sisters will... Spin! Measure! And snap your fate!
Thank you. I don't know why, but I had a feeling you'd come and save me. It's funny. I remember telling you all these things about how you could rely on me, yet here I am, relying on you instead. Turns out I'm completely powerless. How can I expect to shape the world when I can't even shape my own life? All I did as the Maiden was follow Hikawa's orders. He told me I'd be the pillar of the new world, but not like this. In the end, I was nothing but a tool for collecting Magatsuhi. I knew the conception would come at a heavy cost, the price of the world itself. I knew, yet I went through with it regardless. And as it stands now, the new world is going to be a far cry from what I'd hoped. I dreamed of an ideal world where people were grateful to be alive. To be honest, I couldn't stand the way things were before. We claimed to want peace, yet nobody took any personal responsibility for the world's problems. We were selfish to the core. Not only that, we were miserable, though no one would admit it if you asked. Our indolence fed our complacence. And did anyone seek to better themselves or raise the bar for humanity higher? No, because they saw no value in it. That's how I saw the world. In my mind, a world like that might as well one day blink out of existence. <laughs> no wonder I got manipulated by Hikawa. But the battle isn't over just yet. The world is still being recreated. Its shape is not yet fixed. And I discovered a goddess who can set things right. Not even Hikawa knows of her existence. She was drawn here by the power of Magatsuhi. Surely she can teach me the reason for creation. the name of freedom. Under the light of liberty, your wrong shall be forgiven. I am Aradia. I have come from the far reaches of Amala. It is my duty to bestow freedom. Ask, and you shall be set free. If you deem yourself right, light will return to the world. But so will darkness. Pursue the way of creation. You yourself are a world too. Do not obey others. Do what you believe is right. This woman will soon recover her lost power. She will set forth on the path of creation, and I will guide her. Go, and see the world with your own eyes. From there will your creation begin. Aradia has entered this world. This can only mean trouble, my little master. You should be very thankful. My little master has given me permission to enlighten you. Listen closely to what I am about to tell you. The time of creation for this Vortex world is near. War will erupt amongst those who spread their reason in hopes of shaping the new world. As a demon, you are forbidden to conceive your own reason. Which reason will you side with? Which will you oppose? Will the reason you choose persevere or fail? 
Your suffering is my little master's delight. Struggle as hard as you can. You are free to follow whichever reason you like. My only wish is that you do not disappoint my little master with a dull ending.